Yo. So I'm gonna start working on the engine. And I've already cleaned up the uh, all the old intake manifold gasket that was on it. So I've already done a timing belt, water pump, and all that. Like a while ago. And I cleaned this cover so it looks nice. It also has a new exhaust header on it. I'm gonna do a different valve cover than this. Cause this is the one that came with the engine. And I don't really like it, but a lot of people do like it. Who knows, I might just clear coat it, see what it looks like. Run it. And the intake's already been cleaned pretty much. Cause I took this off and took everything off of it. And I sprayed all these out pretty good already. Let me see if I can focus it. Yeah, so they're all cleaned out in the channels and stuff. But other than finishing cleaning the inside of the manifold, which isn't much, I still have to clean the throttle body, the idle air, control valve, and the fast idle valve. Once this is all cleaned up and ready, slap it back onto the engine. Then technically the engine's all ready to uh, actually drop in. Other than mating up the trans, I still have to do that. And I've already painted it, but I've had some issues with it. So I'm trying to clean up the paint job. Mainly it's the temperature, because it's like 39 degrees out. Always at, in the evening. The high for the days would be like 45 or something, but we got some up to like almost 60, so. I'm trying to get that done on those days. <laughs> Get off. I'm gonna spray all this in and out. To clean this. Clean this. Clean these. Clean this, and then this is like really dirty. But yeah, let's clean all this shit up and get it put back together. <laughs> So I got the whole throttle body cleaned pretty much as best I could. Everything wasn't really that dirty, honestly, compared to my other car. This only has 80,000 miles on it, it's just been sitting. So every sensor, every part of it's cleaned. Now I can kind of start putting stuff back together and then start putting it back on it here. So it's finally all one color again. I'm gonna put this back on. Got a new oil filter to put on. This stuff's all clean, ready to put on. I got all my new gaskets, the intake manifold, the valve cover, throttle body, I believe. Shifters in here. Need to clean that shifter, get ready to put that in. I don't think there's anything else that's for this. O2 sensor, actually, for the header. This took forever to get this bolt to line up. 
and I had to like just get it lined up with my fingers and it's in now. Now I can tighten it up, but I wish that I put that on like I was gonna before I put this on, but I'm an idiot, so I had to deal with that. Let's get back to it. So I got everything on that I was gonna do. I throw by a gasket, intake manifold gasket, new idle air control valve, OEM one. Wherever I put that. New oil filter on, this was cleaned out and put back on. I still have a bunch of coolant lines and vacuum lines to rerun, but I'm gonna do that later. Now I'm just gonna do the valve cover gasket and the new valve cover, put that on. So the engine's put back together, ready to have this be put on. I got the brake lines painted, the top hats, the subframe, this is just cleaned off. And I need to get all that stuff installed, I also got the brake booster painted. And it's not bolted up, it's just mocked up. I need to get all that installed because once I get the subframe in, I can put the engine mount on. And all of these are not on yet. I need to actually get the clamps on and actually get these on properly. I got all the routing ready and done. I just need to shorten some stuff. And I had to like retap some stuff here to get all these bolts to work. Like I had to retap this hole, retap that bolt, and this one was fine. But I finally have everything. And. I need to fill this back mount. I need to actually fill it. Because it already came with some solid ones, like fake solid ones. And since I don't have a torque mount now, I need to actually have them be a little bit stiffer so it's not moving around too much. I'm going to paint the brackets. Just because they're shitty. Just going to paint those. So I don't have bolts for the back of the booster, but I got it on there. And I got the brake lines in. I don't really need to put the master on yet because I don't have the booster on properly. And I have to wait to do the brake job then and be careful of the paint and everything. So I got all the bolts I need. They're kind of shot from when I cleaned them off. But if they rust anymore, I'll just uh, find some better ones or take them out. Now that the subframe's in, I'm gonna start working on all the coolant and vacuum lines on this, tying this up, making sure this is all ready. I had to pull this off the VTEC E, and I had to pull an oil pressure sensor off the block outside that's blown. And I got the alternator and starter on uh, the other day because I almost didn't put those on before I put them in the car. That wouldn't be hard, but the alternator sucks once it's in the car. So I got the rack in now. Getting these ready to get together, I just have to have somebody help push them together. I got all the brake lines on now. I need to paint pen all this because I just painted it in the car and it was kind of hard to send through, so it already got scratched up, anyways. I did scratch the engine bay right there. Hard to actually see. Yeah, it's right at the tip of my fingernail. 
I got these brackets painted. They were crusty. I'm gonna put them on the engine. I'm painting the engine mounts. And I can put this in tomorrow. I also got all the cool lines tied together with the coast lamps and everything. So everything on the engine's good too. It's ready to go in. I got the the engine mounts on. They're all tightened on. I found every bolt I need for every mount. Rear mounts on. With the dust shield on. Looks like crap, but it's better than it was before. So now I just gotta figure out the best way to get this lifted up into here. And then start bolting it to all the engine mounts. I'm trying to get it positioned perfectly so when I go down it won't hit the engine bay walls anywhere. This side's looking good. This side's tight with the crank and everything, but I should be good. I'm mainly trying to not hit this and not have this do like any big scratches right there. The back, hopefully this doesn't hit anything on the way down, but I know I'm going to get some bones. But at least it'll be in. camera died of course but I had to get the rear mount in and I was struggling with this one because once I slid that up this bolt could go in but it wasn't going to work so I got this mount on now this one's in but it won't thread in yet so I'm going to loosen this one and this one get this through this hole threaded and then tighten these back up and adjust it right now it's just the jack holding the trans side up but no more of this so I'm going to see what I can do about this and hopefully figure that out started. That was getting sketchy for a second.
So all the mounts are tight now. Engine's in. Put it back on all four jack stands. And I cleaned up and have one more room now that I don't have a motor right there in the engine left in the way. So that's gonna be it for this one. I'm just gonna do an oil change off camera and start bolting some stuff on here and there. But yeah, that's dope. No more worrying about getting that in.